Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. This one should be quick. We're going to the world save node. It was added in a recent update and it lets you know when the world is saved. Super useful. So open up the node menu with your logic tooltip, go to world, spawn in world saved, and put that on impulse, and that's it. This will fire an impulse when the world is saved. Let's just see what you can do with it though. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make a sound happen. So when the world's saved, a sound gets played. To do that, we're going to go ahead and bring in a sound. So I'm going to do that from my inventory. We're going to go to NES Essentials, Sound Effects, uh, UI. I'm going to select this one here, FX Correct. It sounds like that. It's super obnoxious, I know. Um, please do feel free to grab your own sounds and bring them in. This won't be a sound tutorial on the intricacies of this entire sound uh, player orb, as it's called. So just follow along at home. We're going to grab that, inspect it. Push the big up arrow on the left, go to the root of the up arrow, and then we are going to grab a uh, interface to the audio clip player here. So audio clip player, grab that, spawn that in the world. And then we're going to open up our node menu again, go to playback, play, and hook this into this, and that into that, and then there you go. Now when the world saves, this will play. Let's do that now. I'm gonna quickly name the world temp so I know to delete it later. Go to the inventory. Go to my walls folder, we'll go save, save as, save to inventory. Now you might have heard on the recording there that the sound effect went off a little bit after the world was saved, and that's because there's a lag hitch when the world saves just to write everything. To fix this, we're going to add a short delay um, until the sound plays. To do this, we're going to use the flow delay node. Spawn that in, plug the world saved into the top of the delay, and then the other side of the delay into play, and then specify a short duration here. And we go for one second. Close everything out. Hit save on the world again. And there you go. You'll now get a sound when the world saves. This will be super useful for things like headless sessions. Um, to make this kind of self-contained, what you can do here is on the actual sound effect itself, hit the star icon for a new child. Name that Logics. Set it as the packing route. Pack that Logics in. Delete anything stragglers. And now you've got a whole sound effect that you can carry around between worlds that will play when um, the world is saved. I would recommend also hitting this bottom button here on the orb, and that will make it so that the sound player uh, plays it to the entire world. So the entire world will be able to hear when the world is saved. There you go. That's all there is to it. See you next time.